This will be my last uranium video. Why am I saying that when we have absolutely smashed it? Price has skyrocketed to 65.50 now, following our analysis exactly. Now everyone is talking about uranium, as usual after the pump. But as you know, we started talking about this on November 22nd, 2022. Cherish your bleeding toes and toughen the f up. And then the price was $50.20. Okay, so that's 30% gain. 30% nice, but doesn't sound that much. Well, then you're missing three points. Number one. In commodities, leverage actually makes sense. If you think the volatility isn't enough, there are 500x leverage wheat futures. And because price never dipped below where we started, you could put any reasonable leverage here and not get liquidated. 2x, 3x, 4x, 5x, 10x, 20x, even just 3x means your gain is 100% now. This is different from some altcoin where you will have a 50% dump scam wick which liquidates you and then it pumps back 5 minutes later. That's not gonna happen here. Number 2. There is built-in leverage in the commodities companies. For example, Cameco, which is probably the most well-known. So from November until now is plus 70%. By the way, look at how all these are textbook examples of classical charting and how useful it can be. Even the Sprott Physical Uranium Trust from November 22 until now is up 44%. But number three is the biggest one. When you have higher confidence, you can enter with more money. And this is one of the highest confidence, most thorough pieces of analysis I've ever brought you on this channel. We analyzed it from a technology perspective, supply and demand perspective, politics perspective. We brought other analysts on the channel. Taxomike. <laughs> Taxomike. We even developed another indicator, just to be sure. Then we literally brought the biggest spot uranium buyer in the world, who happened to be Swedish, here to the studio. It's always been, yeah, energy has always fascinated me. And you mentioned the town Finspong for our Swedish viewers. You might not know, but I'm actually from Mjölby. <laughs> yeah, you're from Mjölby. Yeah, yeah, from Mjölby. <laughs> 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 yeah, let's not talk about that. Let's not talk about I, I tend yeah. to leave that out of yeah. my background. And you could hear what he said himself. So now mm. it's a bare bone contract. So you haven't seen the price move that much yet. It's moved maybe $5 or so. But all the value of the factors that have been removed is much, much higher than that. So the, basically the only thing left to move now is price. And we haven't seen the big influx for the reasons I said before. You've seen the conversion enrichment prices, or yeah. enrichment contracts, contracting activities mm. come in, but you haven't seen it really hit the youth rate market yet. Yeah. So that's all has to come. And whether that's going to take six months, 12 months, two months, I really don't know. But I feel quite strongly about that it will happen. It's just a matter of time. Good insights here, guys. I hope you're paying attention. All this for free here on the YouTube channel ahead of time. Now, after the pump, I can assure you that the whole YouTube will be full of uranium videos. Then please remember who told you ahead of the fact. CTO Larson, right? Well, yes, but also no. I didn't come up with it. This started before that with my old friend Mark Coops, the real Coops. Hey, Anders! Good to see you, my friend. How are you? Fantastic! Long time! So, you, uh, you got some uh, uranium? <laughs> There's uh, not many people that I actually listen to, but here we have one of them, real expert on commodities that I found in the dark alleys of Asia. <laughs> that is a, a dubious introduction, Anders, but uh, now listen, great to spend some time together. More coops, my friend, the real coops. A huge cheers and a huge thank you from Sweden to you in Vietnam. Thank you so much. Yes, it has been uh, quite a journey. Enjoyed it a lot, Anders, so far. And uh, these are only the early beginnings, I would say. We just put the cup away. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is the man, the brain behind it all. 
And Mark, I'm absolutely blown away by how you have analyzed all aspects of this. It's Mark who has set up all these amazing interviews, done the research, and I think given us one of our highest confidence entries and, and analysis ever. How did you do this? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think the same way anybody would do it, under simply by spending a lot of time reading up, trying to understand and making tons and tons of mistakes and just trying to figure out every single time what you can do better, what you can improve. I started investing in, in the early 2000s. I can tell you honestly, for, for probably the first 10, 12 years, every single time I, I lost money. The difference in this case was that um, we started in 2017 with uh, with investing in, in Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. That was uh, my first touch point of, of being somewhat successful, I would say. But then I, I didn't stick with it long enough and, and I went into uh, certain ICOs. Again, lessons learned. I, I decided to focus on, uh, on commodities in uh, 2019, early 2020, and literally just spent up reading a lot about it reading and, and listening to a lot of people in the industry, growing my knowledge capital and, and then slowly but surely applying it. Maybe it sounds easy at this point in time, but early 2020, I, I had the feeling that we were really at the beginning of a new commodity cycle. And that came as a result of me reading up about the whole theory of, of cycles and, and, and the timeframes they, they typically take and, and, and the way it works. And uh, so I started with that. I started investing myself in uranium. Then towards the end of the year, the, the, the market uh, took off quite unexpectedly, I guess, for, for everybody involved. And that motivated me to continue studying and learning and, uh, and investing my time and, and energy. Uh, the, the whole background behind it was that um, I ultimately wanted to be in a position where I could work for uh, my own company versus working uh, for an employer and having certain freedoms as a result of that. And uh, yeah, that was the, the starting point of the journey. Before continuing with Uranium, I think there's a huge learning with this because Mark was best in the world at what he was doing when we first met and started working together at Ericsson. And then you've taken a completely different route, just like I did. And now you are, in my opinion, from what we have seen, probably the best analyst at uranium and what we have done because you have absolutely nailed it from all different aspects and you have learned to do it that's inspiring for everyone because it doesn't mean that you have to be born with some sort of investing skill or something it is a learnable skill just like everything else in life it's just that it takes knowledge it takes information it takes dedication it takes focus it takes time but it is possible to do one of the the things which change things around for me is literally this this notebook here full with notes and pictures and scribbles and, and everything. Um, I use this every day as I do my research on companies, on, on certain uh, technical analysis patterns, whatever it is, but I write everything down and I go over this time and time again. And so I recognize uh, and started to recognize at a certain point in time what type of mistakes I was making. And then I was starting to learn around how to address those mistakes, essentially, and, and how to learn from your mistakes. And I think the, the most challenging part in terms of trading uh, or speculating is the fact that you do it with your own money. That creates a different dimension, right? Work for a company and you make a mistake. Well, it's a company which is small or large, but there is not necessarily directly an impact on you as an individual, uh, assuming you, you, you do proper business, obviously. Whereas if you're trading or speculating with your own funds, there is directly an impact on you, on your emotions, on the way you feel, on the way you behave. And that takes, um, I guess, a lot of uh, time and effort to, to understand how to deal with it. One of the things which I did is, is I followed uh, a training um, because there are these personality courses uh, which where basically you can analyze what type of personality you have. It was quite interesting because that brought out some of my weaknesses. Uh, so I essentially had three out of the, the four personality traits which would be aligned with, let's say, this type of um, 
uh, engagement. And so I've been working very hard on the fourth because I recognized that every time I was making mistakes, it was because of certain personality traits which I had. But having said that, I think the, the, the first and foremost point for me has been to spend time with a lot of people and learn from them. Whether it is the knowledge in terms of the companies you invest in, how to analyze companies, um, how, how to set up a trading portfolio, how much money to invest, all these types of things literally start from scratch, learn one by one, make mistakes, be willing to make mistakes, but again, stand on the shoulders of, uh, of giants. And Anders, you are obviously one of the, the people who I have always highly respected and, and learned from a lot. <laughs> Thank you for that. And it's also showing that you can become best in the world at many different things, but perhaps not at the same time. That's really leading into the next thing, because what you have really done is that you have really focused. And actually, I learned one thing during the time you and I worked together at Ericsson from another great leader. And he said that focus is not to focus on doing the important things while avoiding doing the less important things. Focus means that you focus on one great opportunity and you say no to other also great opportunities. At our level, that's really what it is. You have to kind of pick. If you should become good enough at something, you have to really focus on it. It needs an element of specialization. Otherwise, you won't have enough time to really dig deep and learn everything about it. And that's really what's leading in to the big announcement here, because I started my channel with tech stocks and uh, cryptocurrencies, like technology, because I'm a technology man, and that's where I can provide a unique perspective, sometimes a perspective that no one else can see. And it aligns well with my mathematician skills for the technical analysis and so on. For the commodities part, it has been a great success and we have so many so happy people now on the channel. You have kind of gone further in specialization in this. The thing that I realized during the summer when we met, you and I, we met in Saigon in Ho Chi Minh City and we sat and talked and realized that I shouldn't start spreading thinner. That will make me less valuable. We should specialize instead. I should stick to my technology focus, cryptocurrencies, blockchain technology, tech stocks, all that stuff where I can bring a unique perspective. And you really have grown into perhaps the best analyst in the world in this commodity space. So we have a big announcement today. The announcement we want to make is essentially that I'm going to start my own channel and my own engagements. So while CTO Larson and I will continue to work closely together, the real copes is going going to provide you essentially with an over-the-shoulder surface uh, in terms of the investments which I am making into the various commodities, uh, be that uranium, oil and gas, you name it. I'm going to provide things like trading setups, alerts, etc. Uh, one, one of the things which is very much missing in my view is the ideas and, and the concepts behind why certain commodity companies are a good investments and how would you select certain commodities and I know that many people ask should they invest in company A, B, C or D. Thus far we, we haven't really spent a lot of time and effort in terms of explaining why uh, people could in, uh, can invest in a certain company. What are basically the concepts behind uh, a good company to invest in versus a company which, which may not be uh, the best investment? I'm going to also provide a Discord channel where I will be sharing obviously alerts and information, but where the community can come together uh, and, and share their thoughts, input, feedback, etc. I'll be continuing very similarly as, uh, as CTO Larson and I were doing in the past with uh, monthly interviews with industry experts. I'll be providing some specific TA tools as they relate to commodities. CTO Larson has been using the, the Larson line, which we will continue to use because it's simply a fantastic tool to understand the direction of a market and, and of a specific commodity and commodity company. But in addition to that, I'll be uh, coming out with some other technical analysis tools, which I believe will 
uh, help us both gain a good and solid entry as well as an exit. And last but not least, trading setups in terms of when I enter certain and when I exit certain trades. My view is obviously that for the foreseeable future, we are going to be in a commodities bull market. But at the same time, if you look at the moves of commodities, they can go up three, four, five hundred percent, but then also very easily drop another 50 percent. And so the intent which we have is to, to make sure that the those drops are not resulting in your portfolio going down in value, but us protecting our investments. So I'll be continuing with the newsletter from me, providing not only input in terms of what is happening in the market and what is news and noteworthy, what type of investments I am making myself and what type of companies I'm looking into to invest in. A call analysis for companies which are currently on our focus list, as well as companies and commodities which may be of, of interest interest and value in the near future and will be going live over the next couple of weeks. And this is absolutely fantastic. But when summing up this almost one year engagement here on this channel around Uranium, there are two things that have come up. Some of you who's watching and also our members, despite the success, they're just not interested in commodities, which is fine, but you cannot be, know everything. So they kind of focus, they, they don't want to know about commodities. They were only interested in Bitcoin or crypto or something like that. So one half is not interested at all. The other half, they want more. They wanted more the whole time. They wanted to know exactly those things that you said. What are you investing in yourself? When are you entering? When are you exiting? And I am not comfortable to share that myself for a long variety of reasons, but you can do that. So the objective here is to kind of satisfy both groups, both the groups who are just not interested in commodities. Okay, they will not hear it on this channel. If they want to hear about commodities and uranium and battery metals and gold and agriculture and oil and gas, and everything that Mark is talking about. They go to the real coops. And those who do want that, who want more to have all those things that I couldn't really give, they will now be able to get it. So I think that this will give everyone exactly what they want. And I am so happy and excited for this. And we will continue working together because there are insights that are overlapping and that we can you know, continue to learn from each other. I know a little bit what Mark has been working on in the background with new tools and so on. And it's very, very exciting, guys. I'm telling you that. So there is one action that you need to take right now. Mark, your company and website isn't set up yet. It will be in a few weeks, correct? But go and follow at the real coops on Twitter X right now. I will now pursue the next level of mastery in global technology analysis, tech stocks. Maybe you remember I talked about this one in Tesla, Nvidia, Apple, Bitcoin, the most appreciating asset of all human history and crypto. As you know, I'm a huge fan of altcoins. And for everyone's info here, Coops has given all members three months of free Friday commodities reports. And then the pro members another three months. Going forward, that will be up to the real Coops own service. Thank you, Mark, for giving everyone this and for your brilliance. We will continue to cooperate. Coops will have some special setup for large online members. Stay tuned for that. I feel we're building one of the strongest communities in all of technical analysis and investment analysis. Love it. Now we take it to the next step. More specialization, higher level of mastery. This video wraps up the uranium and commodities engagement from CTO Larson. Quit at the top. Everyone who followed, understood, took action and have made spectacular money. Congratulations. So Mark, the real coops, thank you for giving this all for free here on YouTube giving everyone this amazing opportunity in uranium that has been such a success for so many people. Some people have taken this trade with leverage and it has been a life-changing trade for many. What do you think about uranium from here? To be honest, I think it will go much, much higher. What I became aware in the market currently is that for new production to come online, it needs to go far above $70. And if we look at the previous uranium bull market, it, uh, it went about double from where we are 
are at that point in time. So I expect something similar, but that doesn't mean that it doesn't go down. Please be careful. Uranium is very volatile. It shoots up, but it also comes down quickly. And so again, uh, be careful with what you invest and make sure that you uh, only invest with funds which you are willing and could lose. I'm really very much excited to go on this new journey. I really hope that people are going to uh, to subscribe and I look forward to uh, serving everybody and doing the best I can and in continuing with my own channel. And if it doesn't go to 70 ever, then you go and complain with the real coops no longer to me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Tuck. At the real coops, out. <laughs> <laughs>